3D printing is revolutionising the way that we make products by enabling the factory to be within the community and allowing computers and the internet to become the new conduit for skills, innovation and creativity. The process of 3D printing starts with 3D computer data. This can come from a whole range of sources, including medical CT and MRI scanning data from hospitals, or 3D computer-aided design data from engineers. Even the consumer can engage in data using mobile phones to capture 2D images, which can be translated across the internet into 3D print files. 3D printing works very much in the same way as 2D printing of pictures or text. The only difference is that the machine produces a tangible 3D object rather than just a two-dimensional image. And it does this by printing layers of plastic or metal on top of one another, layer by layer, until the part is complete. 3D printing is already finding applications across a range of industrial sectors, from aerospace and automotive, through to medical and dental implants, prosthetics and rehabilitation aids. The technology is finding applications in the consumer goods sector as a new way of retailing products, made to order with little if no stock holding and no waste. What's more, because every product is printed, every product can be different, tailored to the individual patient, the user or the consumer. 3D printing technology is now cascading down from the professional industrial user to the local community and even the home. Home-based 3D printing is set to revolutionise the way that we access tangible products by allowing us to download digital data from the internet for home manufacture, much in the same way that we download music and film today. So what would happen if we took 3D printing and we applied it to the developing world? A world where internet-based retail is still in its infancy, but connectivity is growing. But a world where the traditional supply chain, logistics and delivery can take weeks, even months. How could 3D printing impact on the developing world if it could be used to support local manufacture, maybe for agriculture, education, healthcare, fair trade, or simply just to provide access to some basic consumer goods and hardware? The 3D for Development Challenge has been established to test this concept to allow charities and social enterprises and NGOs the opportunity to learn firsthand about the unique capabilities of 3D printing. Later this year, we will run a global network of social innovation camps where interested parties will be able to learn firsthand about the technology capabilities and constraints. Challenge participants will then be given two months to develop a simple, high-level strategic plan outlining how they think 3D printing could have the greatest impact within their community. The six best ideas will then be invited to a three-day residential camp here in the UK where they'll be mentored on the technical, financial, sustainable and social implications of their idea. The challenge finalists will then be given the opportunity to pitch their ideas to a panel of experts, with the winning project receiving $100,000, which must then be used to implement their idea. We hope that the 3D4D challenge will lead to a step change in the use of 3D printing technology within the developing world, and that the technology can make a real difference to the people in our global society that need it most.